Let's use this terrible economic crisis to question assumptions behind economic theory and to rethink the role of the state, finance, and austerity in promoting growth and innovation. I came from a, count, a small country in the southern of Europe, Portugal, and that is just a small zone. Um, in, the, in the European peripheries, which are facing terrible um, austerity measures, uh, and those certainly have been influencing what has been, um, um, has been considered to be a, a tremendous change in the, in the, in the flows of um, skilled people in, the, in, in, the, in the recent years. For instance, in the case of Portugal, a considerably um, level of brain gain was achieved by 2010 by attracting skilled people from many parts to Portugal. But suddenly, over the last two years, we have completely changed. We have, completely, we have observed a completely change in the flows of people with a number of skilled young people leaving the, the country. Um, again, a similar, um, a similar pattern has been dramatically observed in Italy, in Spain, also in Ireland, and that should worry very much the, say, the equilibrium of the development in, in, in Europe, namely when we look at the challenges many other zones face worldwide. In times of austerity, this is particularly important uh, when one I believe needs to be, to look at the building blocks in a way to look at long-term strategies. Certainly, Europe is facing a number of enormous challenges with an, an increasing international competition. When we look at Europe per se, we see that many of those say um, pillars or building blocks are not having ne the necessary investment. For instance, if we look at the last two years in the overall um, investment in R&D, or if you want, the investment in innovation at large. Uh, if you add the 27 um, European member states, you see that the overall investment has decreased. Actually, actually in the last year, the, the decrease in the, in the overall European investment is at the, the level of so-called European Framework Programme. And this should be, um, should be a major um, um, concern for Europe overall, um, where um, actually the um, European investment on the top of the national investments, it is not enough, it is not e enough to balance the, the national cuts, um, which has been a result of austerity measures in many um, uh, national um, um, contexts. So this should, uh, should put us towards new policy measures uh, looking at new horizons for, uh, for innovation. The beginning of the Greek crisis. Now the question is then how do you resolve this difficulty? The European Union has argued that uh, the difficulty in Greece was caused by excessive Greek expenditures. Or, to put it another way, and in any case, you don't need austerity. Reducing those expenditures. Uh, austerity is bad for growth and is bad for innovation and is also a useless harmful uh, method. We were appalled because this uh, 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 inversion, you know, of verdicts that was given.